Hi guys, PJ here. Today I'm taking a look at another new release, A Plague Tale. This is available on PC and both the consoles, but it's the PC release we're taking a look at today. And yeah, as you've guessed it, I'm going to go into all the graphics options and have a quick look at how well the game runs. Now, as you can see, I'm running a 21 x 9 monitor. This is a 2560 by 1080 monitor, and the game does not support ultra-wide. If we go down to the settings, and yes, I'm using a controller, no problem. I have plugged in a DS4 and I couldn't get the button prompts up. So maybe something I missed there. Maybe you guys can get that to work, but I couldn't get it to display the button prompts for a DS4. And the Xbox One. Oh, and of course, Steam controller, keyboard, mouse, etc. So if we go down to, quickly here, graphics, you'll notice screen resolution, 2560 by 1080. So in theory, it should fill the screen. Sadly, it does not. I have played into the game to a certain degree, and um, it just stays, you know, with the black bars each side of the screen. So there's there's the screen mode, full screen. Graphics presets. Um, we go advanced. There we go. There's your options that you've got: shadow maps, volumetric lights, ambient occlusion, depth of field, contact shadows, light shafts, screen space reflections, bloom, anti-aliasing, texture quality. That's all of them. Now, texture quality doesn't have an ultra. High is here's your max. Okay. Now, if you are getting problems with, you know, your FPS being low, you might want to drop your screen space reflections and your shadows down because they're the hardest hitting ones in this game. Volumetric lights can also cause a few problems, so you might want to drop that down to medium. I'm running this on a RTX 2060 with a mild overclock and the CPU is a Ryzen 1600X, that's a 6 core 12 thread CPU, it's at 3.9, so it's not overclocked, it's just the battery settings, and 16 gigabytes of DDR4. I haven't installed this game on an SSD, uh, it's not actually a huge file, so I've installed it on a normal 7200 speed hard drive, and I'm recording to a Samsung SSD, so that the, the, the shadow play impact is minimal, shall we say, very, very minimal, it shouldn't really cause any, any problems. Now, if we turn VSync off, so you can see the frame rate of the game, okay, we will get some, uh, you know, some screen tear on there, but that's that's about it. Audio-wise, um, th this this game has some really nice music to it, but unfortunately, with YouTube and copy protection, we have to turn that off. Okay, so it's worth worth you know sampling the music, etc. And you've got various options for music there. Look, there we go. Let's go back. Uh, what else have we got? Game options, normal stuff as you'd expect. You can HUD can be customized, vibration on and off, etc. Go to advanced HUD look. You can toggle everything on and off. And we also have camera. You can invert your camera there, adjust your sensitivity, things like that. Like I say, controls, keyboard, controller, etc. There we go. Go back, back, back. Now this is a bit, a bit strange. I have I've got two save games on here, but even after selecting my first save game, it's coming up with a new game. Not strange. It's really weird. So, will it continue with my save game or not? No, it's not. That is not my save game. You've already, I've already done this. I've already progressed past this. So, what's going on there, guys? We have a weird problem. Look, there's my save slots. One, two. I want to play that one. There we go, let's click on it with the mouse. Yes, I want to play that. No, I want to play it. Confirm. Hmm. Strange. Maybe a bug, a glitch. Pretty important one. So if we go to new game, we're gonna have to start again, I'm afraid. Sorry about the background noise there that you can possibly hear. So how about local scrap? So, loading in, can we skip? No, we can't. We start in a forest, basically, and uh, the story is of uh, two children that you, you sort of have to care for through the story. And um, it's quite an involved story, and from what I've seen of it, what I've talked to other people about that are currently playing it and I've got further than I had got, um, it's a good game. It's worth checking out. 
the only problem for anybody with an ultra wide screen as you can see is these black bars i've already looked for an any file change i've already looked for an executable file change and i can't actually find one to do on it so if any of you guys have got a solution to get rid of the black bars please post it in the comments below because up to now up to the date of this recording i cannot find a fix i've fixed quite a few games where the 21 by 9 is not supported and, um, apple tree, father. Well, I want to take the knight's challenge one, once more. I can't fix. The knight's not challenge. Moment, anyway. But you're not right, so we're looking at 75 anymore. FPS. This oh, is on full please, ultra. I've trained hard and my monitor's this. overclocked 75 All right, FPS. Let's it's go. a 60 hz monitor, but it will support 75. As you can see, the Look graphics are quite on. nice. I mean, a bit later on, you get some room and stuff and shooting and what have you. Beast thinks with like a slingshot with rocks that you pick up for here, there and everything. <laughs> That's right harsh. now, you just walk in speed because we're right at the very start of the game. Oh, like I say, I'm gonna have to You'll see what's going on with I my, um, you. Don't get my your hopes up. games and um, Let's keep what's going. going on there. It's really odd. But um, the game, if, you, if you've got time and you want to do a story, and you know, this is the game to play. So, like I say, well, by all accounts, Look, it's a good game. It's getting favourable reviews on Steam. So uh, check it out. Some I of the key it. sellers have got it at a pretty yes, good price. You know, some pretty decent reductions on it. If and uh, Green Man Gaming have got a nice, nice-ish price on it. So we all uh, have obligations. Or we'll wait for here. sale if you want, but you, definitely you don't know, dismiss it. The only problem we've got is this. Hey, I'm trying to, to tell her something. So there we go. <laughs> High 60s FPS on full ultra. Uh, uh, what usage is have we got? Let's have a look here. We've got right. sort of eight gigabytes of normal RAM. It will be sufficient. We all and have and obligations. Two point two gigabytes of DRAM. It's not a hard Your game to run. To I believe the manufacturers of the game um, they are looking at the GTX 970 for the uh, for sort of playing it nicely, you know, which is quite an old card now. So here yeah, it looks now. like it, it you know, so spans across the range me, of hardware pretty well, hey, shall we say. Wait, CPU, wait, I've only got one. Of course, sixteen percent, twenty percent CPU usage there. Good figure, it is designed to run on the uh, old consoles, the PS4 and the Xbox One, the little netbook CPU, so I wouldn't Amicia imagine it's going to be too intensive this apple sort of thing. Was planted when but, you were born. guys, that's it, it. I just want to show you how well it would run on this sort of system, the and of the, the current issue with the 21 by 9 screen. Like I say, if you've got a fix, uh, please let me know, please pop it in the comments below, because I want to play this game. I want to play it using the whole monitor, really, like everybody else does, so yeah. That's pretty much it for now. It's just a really short glimpse of the I game. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.